Hey guys, on today's video, well actually I had another one planned on a intermittent problem, but it was still not acting up while I was there today. So hopefully I can catch that tomorrow. But this one was a no heat call, no heat strips, no heat pump, nothing working. And the blower was not working. I had to jump to straight to replacing it because the customer was talking to me constantly. But um, I go over the blower motor and then I check the system afterwards. So stay tuned. Here it comes. All right, this one was a X13 blower motor that was out of warranty and was not blowing at all. I did confirm that I had control voltage from four to common. If you see right there, that little common is right there and it was not working. I did not check the motor because this module costs more than a replacement motor and it's out of warranty so we're just going to replace the motor i may cut the sound and voice over on this because i'm wanting to listen to the radio I'm about to slide this in there and one thing I'm going to point out is where you place your wire connections you want them about where the other ones were you want them to come out in this direction and I, I took that I took that into consideration as you see how this lines up my wire connections are going to be right here it helps to think about that sometimes people mark with a pin on the blower housing to indicate where the wires should show up but always consider that
this brown is my common power ground power so common goes over here power ground power <clears throat> All right, when I power this up, the blower motor is going to turn in both directions and it determines which direction it's supposed to flow in by the current draw that it takes at whatever speed it runs at. thermostat and I may need to reset it yes well, I'll tell you what <laughs> why don't we just <clears throat> Just going to jump it out real quick. There it goes. Didn't mean to jump it out. Turn in the other direction. All right, so now it's going to turn in the correct direction. You should not power it all. Power it off while it's doing this. So now we just need to turn it on and check operation. Oh, we're running in heat, so I'm um, probably just going to check head pressure. Hello.
ideally ideally i'd like that to be more like 225 but that may climb slowly in the next 10 or 15 minutes place to check and draw Compressor RLA is 23.9. We're at 15.2. Hmm. The pressure is climbing much as I hate to leave that I'm probably gonna have to but I will bring it up to them and see if we can you know what if that's a five that could go up there It's a 10. Let's see, is there a... Hmm. Right. Yes, I'm going to bring this up to the homeowner. And So I need a 60 and 10 to make this look right. All right, that's it for that video. If that was helpful, like and subscribe. I try to post videos every day. And like I said, hopefully I get another shot at that intermittent problem tomorrow. And I'd like to post that video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.